Hey everyone, welcome back to another LiveX unboxing. Today we are unboxing the Annie 22XLR from Shure. This is a Dante based audio interface that does two XLR in and out. And the wonderful thing about it is that it is completely controlled by Shure's software. So it's a very hands off kind of plug it in, leave it alone unit. I'm excited to unbox it. Let's get going. So pretty simple box from Sure with the uh, label right there to let you know what you have. I see the Dante sticker there, which is very exciting. All right, and I unbox it and I see the limited warranty paper that I'm always getting from Sure, as well as some, uh, looks like some uh, information here for some international information, and then a user guide. Um, again, I love seeing user guides in boxes, In I don't think it's a waste of paper. I think that when you are in a pinch and uh, you need something, you just have your pouch with all of your uh, user guides right there. Very useful. I'm glad that they include one. And this is a little bit more of a minimal box unboxing experience because this is really an AV and installation product more than it is something that you would uh, sense to just like a normal, you know, audio engineer or something like that. So that's pretty much how I'd expect here. Right now we have two little uh, screws here. These are little Phillips head screws. These are probably going to be uh, to attach mounting, but we'll, we'll get back to that once I know for sure. I'm gonna pull this whole thing out, set this aside. This looks like this is just the unit itself. It is. Ah, okay, so what these screws are is for the mounting bracket here. I'm gonna take this out of the bubble wrap. I'm probably not gonna use this mounting bracket um, unless it helps me somehow get it onto a rack, um, which it very well might. Um, this is probably a mounting bracket that's more used for, for tables, for a wall. Um, and what these two little screws are is it's to uh, screw it into the unit itself. So. I'm gonna set both of those aside. I'll always keep these uh, these mounting brackets just in a box uh, somewhere to store because you never know what you're going to do with it. But we are going to put this in a uh, in a kit in a uh, rack mount fly pack. So I'll put the packaging over here, and here is the unit itself. Don't let its small size fool you. This thing is built like a tank. This um, is qu actually quite dense feeling much more dense than other Dante uh, USB interfaces I've come in contact with. Let's slide that out. So we have the XLR SKU. Uh, there are block connector SKUs. There are other, other SKUs of the Annie 22 uh, family. And the Annie 22 family, um, I believe that is just two in, two out. That's what the 22 stands for, but I could be wrong. Sure's uh, SKUs are a little bit confusing sometimes. We got a bunch of stickers and um, different country uh, requirements here, FCC rules, other, other sort of compliance stickers here on the bottom, as well as the Dante sticker down there. And uh, here I am able to see some mounting points and something that I'm a little bit confused about, but probably, oh, I, I understand. So you can either line the holes up to be in the front. You probably can't see the line up there um, or the back. So you can line it up so that the XLR is um, closer or the front panel is closer. So that's, that's actually quite useful that they give you that option rather than just one or the other. Um, so in the back, we see two Dante inputs, two Dante outputs, as well as the Dante slash PoE uh, port. So I believe this uses PoE plus, but um, we can look through the, um, the guide here to see for sure. So uh, like I said, really useful to get a manual in here. I do not take this for granted <laughs> anymore at all. Um, but let's see, it is uh, power over ethernet and make sure to connect to a PoE port. So it doesn't require PoE++. The camera that I'm actually using right now is a Panasonic UE150, requires plus plus, which is a higher wattage than this will require. But 
It is very important to note that uh, you do not get a power uh, adapter with this. You need to power it over Ethernet. And you can do that with either a network switch that supplies PoE. That's probably what you will do. But you can also get a PoE injector, which aren't uh, that expensive. And for, uh, for this unit, the really useful thing is with a PoE um, uh, option, you can keep it really uh, a much more minimal um, setup inside of a rack. So all of our switches have PoE available. Uh, it just keeps the adapters down, keeps the need to run power into like a Furman, just keeps that away. So I really like that. But my overall impression of this is I love the form factor. I love how solid it feels. This really feels like something that you can just set in a rack and kind of forget about, which is what this is for. This is for putting into conference rooms. This is for putting into control spaces. Or in our case, the reason I'm excited about it is because you can control these XLR uh, preamps with completely a software interface. We are going to put this into a remote kit where the user won't know how to set preamp gain at all. So with Sure's really awesome uh, software, we are going to be able to do that completely remotely. Um, whereas a lot of audio interfaces have you know, knobs in the front, this is purpose-built for a remote technician or some sort of systems engineer to control the microphones and control the audio I.O. So really excited about this device. If you have any questions about this guy, let us know in the comments below. We will have tested it by the time this video comes out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.